Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Joel Mija Tattoo here and well, as you can see from the title of today's video, I'm going to be going over my favorite tattoos of 2020. I have a bunch of stencils from this past year. You know, I'm just going to go over which tattoos were my absolute favorite. So before we get into that, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that way you know every single time I post a new video. So with that being said, let's get started. I really thought that was going to be more aesthetic. That was not. I got my Bob Ross shirt on, I got my PJs on, I got a glass of wine. Is this fun? No idea. Is it gonna be? I have an eight today. So I'm gonna break down my favorite tattoos of 2020 into four categories. Okay, because there were so many tattoos that I did this past year, not a flex or anything, but I am very thankful for everybody who went and got tattooed by me this past year. The four categories I picked, I just wanna let you know, if your tattoo was not picked as one of my favorites, that does not mean that I do not like your tattoo. That does not mean that it's not a good tattoo. That just means, honestly, I just picked the ones that were just really, 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 really something. So I'm gonna break this down into four categories. I'm gonna break it down into floral work. I'm gonna break it down into animal tattoos. And I'm gonna break it down into food tattoos and portrait work. First category is floral work. All right, so the first one is this tattoo, which I did on my friend Marissa. She is amazing, and honestly, this was such a cute tattoo. Um, she let me do my thing with it, and I'm really thankful. Next. So this one was actually really uh, complicated because the idea behind it was really complicated. My client trusted me enough to let me do my thing, and she came out very pretty. Ooh, I like these. I love tattooing roses. Let me say that again. I love tattooing roses. Hello? Ma'am, ma'am, please focus. Don't focus on me, focus on the tattoo. Mm. Mm. Are you on me? Are you focused on me? <gasps> this one was a cute little tattoo that I did on the side on my friend. Um... What was her name? She, I guess she's not my friend. <laughs> Anyways, this was a very, very, very cute tattoo that I did on the side. And it was just, it, this tattoo accentuated her body. I'm telling you, it gave her a little bit of shape. It gave her a little bit of curve. And I just love doing roses. I love how this came out. I'm not a big fan of doing mandalas, but I did it. I did it for this tattoo. If you want to get mandalas done, please don't book me. <laughs> Anyways, next. Okay. Now we got down to the top. The absolute top two tattoos from the floral category. Honestly, they're probably some of the best tattoos of my career. First, we are gonna have this one. Focus, please. What if I want? Focus. So I actually have this tattoo as a video on my channel. This is an anatomical heart tattoo with roses coming out of it. On my favorite, one of my favorite clients, Miss Nicole Dusso. She is amazing. She is a bad. This is and will forever be one of my favorite tattoos because I love animal hearts. I love doing roses and she just came out so damn poppy. Next. Oh yeah, she's focused. This tattoo is on my cousin's fiance, Miss Victoria. Oh, the fact that she let me do this tattoo. I don't know why I talk like that. The fact that she <laughs> The fact that she let me do this tattoo, I'm just so thankful because she let me do the layout and everything exactly how I would do it. She let me do some roses. She let me do a hand with some sage. And it just came out so damn good. Like, my black and gray was so on point with this tattoo. Ugh. That's all I gotta say is just, uh, In a good way. Like, uh, but chef kiss. <laughs> Anyways, so we're done with the floral category. So I think it's time for a dream. You know, I bet you by the end of this class, I'm gonna be on the floor. <laughs> I'm telling you, I have not ate yet, but I feel skinny. <laughs> Next category, animals. Let me tell you, let me stop you. I love animal portraiture. I love it. If you want an animal, I'm your guy. I love your animals. I love you. But more importantly, dog portraits. Focus on me. <laughs> I'm gonna look back at this footage and be like, what was I on? I love dog portraiture. I'm gonna put it up right here, I'm gonna put it right there. That's a stencil, that's a dog. Tell me that ain't cute. There's another dog that I also would love to pay tribute to. But for that dog that I just showed you, I'm gonna show you Boss. Moment of silence for Boss. 
All right, let's continue. So this is a Jaguar. I was so excited to do this tattoo. I actually got to start a sleeve on one of my favorite clients um, from San Francisco. His name is Christian, and he allowed me to do some of the other tattoos you're gonna see a little bit later on in the video in the portrait section. So I'm very excited about this tattoo. That's about it, it's a dope tattoo. Next, this one is a big ass bear. Okay, so this bear is massive. The dude's arm, who's very tall and very, you know, this was this is a big ass tattoo. Big ass bear. Okay, next. This is the top, the absolute top, top of the animal section. I got to do a papa wolf and some cubs. This tattoo, let me tell you, so detailed, healed out so nicely. If you want more animals, <laughs> hit me up. I think it's time for a drink. I'm gonna add some flavor to this next section because it is delicious. It is so good that it's just worth another drink before I start. This tattoo is not that big. A concha, a concha, sis. This one's an orange concha because she's spooky. My girl Jasmine, she's spooky. She ooky spooky. She also got another tattoo for me, which I'll also put up. Also one of my favorites, couldn't find the stencil. One of my favorites of this year. So I'm gonna just put up her tattoos right here. Thank you so much, Jasmine. You are amazing. I wish you the best 2021, and I can't wait to see you again. Uh. Next. Ah. Ah. I don't know what that was. <laughs> kind of weird, crazy. This tattoo is on my homegirl, my homie, Miss Bianca. B Bianca. Honestly, one of my best fucking friends from college. I am so happy that I finally got to tattoo her. Oh my God, was that the struggle? Getting this tattoo on her? Absolutely. Bianca, if you were watching this, I love you. Was that a wild ass session? Of course it was. And that's why I love you, girl. I wish you a happy 2021. Next. <laughs> this tattoo. This is on my best my absolute best friend. I did this on my girl Stephanie. I actually have a video with her on my channel. This tattoo is so cool. I wish you a very happy 2021, Stephanie. Love you. Next. <laughs> this. You will never see a cooler piece of corn. This is on my friend Josh, and it is honestly the funnest fucking tattoo that I got to do for the food category. That is why it's at the top. No words. No words. All I gotta say is thank you very much. I love you. <laughs> Next section. Cheers to the food section. So, this final section is the portrait section. Let me tell you, I love doing portraits. I told you on this channel a few times that I love doing portraits. So, <coughs> Why is it spicy? <laughs> Next section. So remember how I told you that there's a client that I started to sleep on that I just love the tattoos? Okay. Let me just start with this girl. She was one of my first tattoos that came back to, and I'm so glad that I did because she came out so fucking popping. Like, look at her. Look at how good she looks. She healed out so amazing too. Like, I'm gonna just put that up right there too. She healed out so freaking good. All right, next. If you watch Apocalypto, you know who this villain is. I don't remember what his name was, but he is so cool. And tattooing him was so difficult. It was a very long tattoo. But was it worth it? Of course, because the tattoo came out chef kiss. Now, now, now. I don't have these stencils because I don't know where they went, but I'm gonna show you why they are the top tattoos from the portrait section of 2020. Bam, bam. Frankenstein and the Bride of Frankenstein. How are these just, they're just so beautiful. And I'm so thankful for Jamie for allowing me to do these tattoos on the back of her thighs. If you weren't already looking at her butt, look at these tattoos. They are just so beautiful. That is why these tattoos are at the top of the portrait section of 2020. 
Oh my god. Can you believe that we just finished all that? Alright everyone, so that concludes my video on reviewing 2020's tattoos. So if you want me to do another one for 2021, if you don't want it, I'm still gonna do it. You know why? Because I love, I love. Anyways, so with that being said, everybody, everybody. Ew, why am I talking like that? Who am I? <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for watching everybody and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Was that not cute? I'm gonna have to pick that up. Anyways, I don't know. Bye.